Welcome back to Be Rich. After Namakal, my team decided to do an event in Velour. We have familial connections with Velour. My father went to college in Velour. He attended the Woodis College. So we are doing an event in Velour on the 20th and 21st of July. Those desirous of attending this event should contact the WhatsApp number given below and send a message to the Gmail ID that is also given. Try to call as early as possible to avoid rush and disappointment. Because in Namakal, we had to decline a lot of people who wanted to attend the event. Once again, I thank you for supporting BJJ. Hey guys, I'm going to quickly interrupt this video to announce that we have successfully launched our Substack where we talk about companies, US markets, European markets, and Japan as well. And these insights are going to be delivered straight to you to, to your email, as well as the Substack app. We hope you go check it out. The link is moatinvesting.substack.com. The link will be on the screen right here and also in the description. Thank you for checking it out. Good evening and welcome back to Be Rich. Today, Shashwat has picked a very interesting topic. If the economy is growing in America and uh, everybody is finding a job, and uh, unemployment rates are at their lowest. And why is it that everybody is complaining in America about price rise? Prices are also coming down. People should be happier. The economy has been growing for a long time now. And there has been no recession, though people have been talking about recession for quite a some time. There must be some discontent which is affecting the middle class and the people below middle class for them to be so upset. Because survey after survey says, people feel, where is the growth? The economy is not doing well. Statistically, the economy seems to be doing extremely well. The corporates are doing not badly. And still, people don't feel like that the economy is doing well. One of the reasons is the state of the real estate market in America. The commercial real estate is sinking like what Charlie Munger said many months before he passed on. Buffett has been saying this. And therefore, as rates are being reset, a lot of commercial real estate finances are turning bad, accounts are turning bad, and a uh, lot of bankruptcies in commercial real estate. But that's not the pain because people are not going to be unhappy because commercial real estate is doing badly. Actually, what has happened is housing rates have not come down. That is, houses have not become cheaper. And people are not trying to buy houses because mortgage rates are extremely high. There is a lot of supply of houses, but there is no demand. And this is not resulting in lower prices. Also, a lot of big corporates have bought property and now have started to renting them out. So rents have also not come down because rents also remain very high. So this dual cost of not house prices not being not coming down and rentals not coming down is making it very difficult for middle class America. I read somewhere, it's impossible for a couple starting out in life to buy a house in America today. Things are as bad as that. While this may be new in America, it is commonplace in India. In a place where I live, Madras, in the south of India, there are a lot of houses which are empty, locked up. Nobody is living in them and people cannot afford to buy those houses. In all of India, including just taking the top eight cities, nearly one crore properties are locked up. One crore is 10 million. 10 million houses are just locked up, waiting for people to occupy. And they are not selling because the rates are too high. But this is commonplace in India because our infrastructure is very poor. People cannot travel long distances to work. But America is a country of suburbs. People travel, drive one or two hours to work, but not so in India. In spite of having better infrastructure than Indian cities, America seems to be struggling. And Shashwat has read something about it and would like to discuss it with you. Over to you, Shashwat. Yeah, so here are some data points to flesh in some more details. So. Housing construction starts and permits are at an all-time low since 2021 when there was the housing boom in the US and new house sales are back to below 2019 levels. So you're not even back to pre-pandemic levels, you're well before that. And Zillow indicates that US home sales 
declining and have been declining since 2022. Inventories for homes to be sold continues to rise. That is more and more companies are holding larger and larger inventories. And housing prices growth year over year percentage change briefly touched 0% last year, but bounced up to nearly 5% now. So housing prices year over year have been growing in positive percentage points. Last year it touched 0% in terms of growth, but now it's again bounced back to nearly 5%. Demand is now lower, supply is now higher, and prices are somehow still high. So even in an economy where there is a surplus, theoretically, prices are refusing to correct. The Housing Affordability Index, which is posted by the Atlanta Fed's Home Ownership Affordability Index, says that it's an, at an all-time low, is as low as 2007, when the housing bubble <coughs> occurred. So housing <coughs> affordability has slid back to pre-financial crisis levels. And the main barrier to affordability then was housing prices. Now it is steep mortgage rates. Most of the price rise comes from houses priced above the median of $500,000. Certain regions are starting to see falling prices, for example, Austin, Texas. So the poorer houses, that is those below the median level, are slowly starting to see price corrections. But those above the $500,000 mark are refusing to correct which tells me that there may be some sort of speculation going on above the 500,000 level. No, the idea is the market has been constantly saying that there will be a rate cut today, there will be a rate cut tomorrow. What the market should realize is that one single rate cut will not bring mortgages down. Yes. It requires four or five rate cuts in a row and that is not coming anytime soon. And the interesting thing is the Properties above the median of $500,000 are continuing to rise in price. But the ones below $500,000 are the ones which are now seeing prices decline. And uh, this is the median amount, $500,000. And financial experts as well as real estate experts in the FD are saying that they expect to see inventory build up, continue to build up, and prices to remain under pressure until mortgage rates fall. And if mortgage rates do not fall as steep as people expect it to, then you're in for some trouble where prices of real estate should come down. And there's another concern which was expressed, which was that rent inflation may be growing beyond control because now that your properties aren't being sold, the number of homeowners aren't rising either. So the, there's a demand for housing and you'll end up having to rent because you can't buy because mortgage rates are high. But at the same time, the guys who are buying the houses are also not buying. So you have a sort of shortage in housing, even though people want housing, but they're not able to afford housing. So people who would otherwise buy in a benign interest rate environment are now unable to buy and they're renting. And that's pushing rent costs up. And uh, right now, when people are celebrating, thinking that rates would come down, two things will push it up. This is the beginning of the driving season in America. So crude prices are going to remain high, which means any expectation that price would come down, inflation will cool down rapidly is not going to happen. And if, uh, and if the housing rents remain high, that is also going to act as a, because in America inflation, pressure. renting is also a part of American service in the inflation. Yes. So there is going to be upward pressure. So there is going to be upward pressure on inflation too. So the sooner, unless the prices crack very quickly, and it's a chicken and egg situation. If prices don't correct, rents remain high, then you are going to have more inflation. But um, if the Federal Reserve today drops rates, then what ends up happening is imports become more expensive and oil prices will go up. Mm. But at the same time, they need to cut rates because they need to reduce mortgage costs. Right. It's a chicken and egg situation. Yeah. Because if they cut rates, yes, and the fiscal does not support rate cuts, like Biden is saying he will do welfare spending and not increase taxes. And Trump is talking about cutting taxes. Yeah. Both are fiscally irresponsible. Yes. This will push up borrowing costs. And this will mean that more money will get flowing out into the system. Inflation is not going to find very easy. It is not going to come down easily. If these rate hike bites, then any cut in interest rate with easy fiscal policy will mean the prices go up again. Not a good time to be looking for houses anywhere in the world, especially in America. So what seems to me 
to be the problem now is that like you said fiscal and monetary policies are diverging yes they are diverging and the fiscal those who are running fiscal policy expect monetary policy to mop up any mess they create it is not going to happen you can fool some people sometime but you cannot fool all the people all the time yeah yeah thank you for watching beerich i hope you like this presentation of ours and uh, do subscribe to the channel like this video turn on the bell notification that is the one time you'll get notified every time we put out a video and once again i thank you for your support for beerich thank you it's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me i have written two books in english the alchemy of money and ordinary stocks extraordinary profits these books are published by us and are ready if you want to procure a copy send us a message to the whatsapp number given below and my team would respond to you if you want an amazon kindle copy you can click the link below finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to beerichenglish@gmail.com once again i thank you for your support If you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification